I'm Karen, founder and skipper of Sporting Sheroes, an organization that helps women in sport raise their profile and develop great sponsorship packages. This is the Data Talks Sports CDP Crash Course Podcast. Data Talks makes it easy for sports organizations to sell more tickets and merchandise and negotiate sponsorship agreements of higher value. Our community, Women in Sport Beyond the Hashtag, is for everyone involved in women's sports space, and we'd love you to join us, whatever your sport, whatever your level, and whatever your role. So welcome to the October episode of my monthly guest host slot. And this month, I want to talk about the importance of coaching in sport, not only on the field, pitch, court or track, but off it as well. As I prepare this episode, I'm hearing the news of the amazing comeback of Simone Biles, the American gymnast who has just won four gold and a silver medal at the World Championships after a two-year international absence. Biles is now the most decorated gymnast, male or female, of all time. But it comes after a recognition of struggling mental health forcing her to take time, space, and have a reset to come back stronger than ever. Sport and life are like that. They have ebbs and flows, and woe betide anyone who doesn't take notice and thinks that they can simply work harder and faster in order to achieve their goals. My personal belief is that any sports coach worth their salt understands this too and will encourage their athletes and teams to focus as much on training their minds and protecting their time, energy and mental health as they do on training their bodies for their chosen sport. High quality mindset coaching can have a huge positive impact for both the individual and their sport and non-sport teams such as their friends and family. A coach will hold space for us to explore holistically what we stand for and what we're up for. They will help us to extrapolate what is really important to us, what we want to achieve and what our values and priorities are along the way. Amongst the podiums, medals and celebrations in sport, athletes are also juggling day to day life, relationships and sometimes a full time job as well. Add to this that over the years, there have been instances of bullying and exploitation that have come to light. And as we set our focus on goals and positivity, we also need the resilience and mental capacity to challenge and handle life outside sport, including any less savoury incidents that may come our way as well. Coaching helps to provide a framework to navigate some of those challenges and bumps in the road as we go so that we don't get thrown entirely off course, but can reset or maybe even just take a detour. What's interesting is that as organisations better understand the benefits of positive mindset and strong mental health, they are increasingly looking to engage well-qualified coaches as part of their offering. Equally, the focus on mental health over the past few years has led to many science-based studies, thereby increasing the tools and understanding that the top-level coaches can bring to the table. Evidence-based approaches taken from neuroscience and positive psychology studies increase well-being and resilience, both areas that are important for athletes. Positive mindset and positive emotions enable us to think more clearly and take better decisions, leading to powerful leaps in our performance. Physios and other clinicians speak about neuroplasticity when trying to form new neural pathways after illness or injuries, but neuroplasticity can be equally effectively used to create new behaviours and habits that serve us well in attaining our goals, setting out a new route, heading in the right direction. Returning to Simone Biles, The one thing that has struck me in reading the press reports about her impressive comeback is not just her remarkable sporting prowess. It's the evident joy she has rediscovered in her sport. The Guardian, a UK newspaper, reported the joy that Biles was able to compete with throughout the event 
was her biggest triumph of all. By advocating for herself and having the clarity to prioritise her mental and physical health during one of the most important moments of her career, Biles has likely prolonged her career. Her decisions over the last two years will have a greater lasting impact both within and beyond her sport than any peerless new skill. I don't know for sure, but I'd put substantial odds on Biles having worked with a top-notch coach to get balance and joy back into her life. A coach can help us reverse engineer our pathway from our highest goals back to where we are right here, right now, building resilience and understanding of what's really important along the route. If it's not something you've ever considered, I would urge you to give it a try. As someone who has really benefited from coaching techniques across the years, I'm now taking myself a higher level qualification to gain greater knowledge, skills and evidence-based case studies and to help more athletes and organisations achieve their objectives. How about you? It's time to commit to the first step. Commit to day one. Commit to you. And as it happens, we have a fantastic organisation within the Women in Sport Beyond the Hashtag community, You Potential, who describe themselves as the gym for mental fitness. I highly recommend you go and check them out. So that's a wrap for this month. I'm Karen, the founder and skipper of Sporting Sheroes, guest hosting this podcast for Data Talks. Come and connect with me and the awesome Data Talks team on social media. And don't forget to join our fantastic community, Women in Sport, beyond the hashtag. All the links are in the episode description. <laughs>